Bird. It's cold. Today I just got some more feed making supplies. Our shipment came in, I guess, from our feed store that we get our soybean meal. And uh, for pig feed, we've been wanting to do this. We wanted to switch our bike shed and our, our uh, feed shed and switch spots where they are because of the convenience. We got a new pallet and we're almost out of uh, feed on the one pallet from the last order. So we decided now that we have this uh, new pallet and we have to already move it all by hand, we're going to switch it over uh, when we today. So I'm going to go ahead and you're going to see us do that and see us set up. Here's the pallet of feed we're going to move. And it's got to come out here. If I can get the door on. This is where it has been kept. It's been kept in this red shed here behind me. It's been kept in some of it in this freezer. And then the pallets. There's two pallets, but as you can see, it's about all gone there's a couple some bags still there but we're gonna go actually move. I'm making feed today too so um, those some of those will go we're gonna stick it into this shed actually our hay storage is up top there's a loft and so it'll be nice to have it all in one spot yeah that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna get on it and you're gonna see some time lapse and be real quick and cool and some talking hopefully learn something enjoy it Watch us lift a bunch of bags. Actually me, I think it's mainly me. Well, the battery on the lawnmower is dead. So I'm gonna put a charger on that and then I guess I'm just gonna have to work around it until we can get that started and out of the way. these bikes out the lawnmower is still in there charging doesn't seem well now it's taking a charge a little bit now so now all I have to do is get the bike rack out there's some hay over in this corner that didn't fit I'm gonna take some of that actually the pig pens so will have a little room there and then these doors these are probably just gonna they're nice hardwood doors and we didn't want to burn them. They're probably going to just get stored here. We have a feed freezer and I liked a spot for two pallets of feed. I don't know where I'm going to stick it all yet. How I'm going to arrange it. But I'm going to get the drill impact and take this bike rack down. Probably those blocks of wood up there. I don't know. And uh, maybe try to start the lawnmower. Well, I just realized we used nails. So it is nailed to the wall. So I gotta go get my hammer, not my impact. So I got the Locks off the wall, and uh, now we're ready to figure out how we are going to move the freezer and set it in here. I think I want to put it on some bricks or a pallet or something to get it up off the dirt, it's just a dirt floor in here, just to help keep it from rusting out the bottom or something. So I'll probably see what I've got. I have some cinder blocks, and uh, go ahead and look for that.
Okay, got the feed freezer empty. So uh, it's actually got a pallet underneath it. I'm gonna try to push it off the pallet, get the pallet in there. I'm gonna try to get as much done by myself as I can and I'll go get Carl or, I don't know, Dad might be home by then. He's in town getting some stuff um, to help me. Just, uh, yeah, I think Carl's editing a video for something else, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and do that all by myself. Perfect. Okay, got the pallet in for the freezer. Let's get a pallet in here for some feed, and I can move feed by myself. So I'll go ahead and start moving some feed. bags there's 20 20 trips each and uh, so we got those moved I gotta go ask Carl if he can help, come help me move the freezer and then we can move the minerals into that and uh, I'm gonna take some hay out to the pigs it's cold today and uh, their pen needs some bedding so we're gonna get some hay out there and then we can work on moving bikes into the other shed so they're not just a uh, a mess. I don't know what you're like seeing, but mess out here. Okay, so for you it's probably been like, you know, you're probably still sitting in the same chair, or same place where you've been watching this video, but for me, it's the next day. And today, I've got a working crew. We just got done eating breakfast, uh, it's Saturday, so we kind of late start, but we're gonna get this job done. All the bikes are still sitting in a pile, and we got the feed moved, but this crew is gonna help me, and we're going to get the rest of the bikes moved into the shed, and, uh, yeah, so let's go. Cleaning 
Diaries, I think episode 3. Thomas, too often, starts a video, then doesn't finish the video, and has to come to me and say, Nathan, come help me finish the job. So I want to complain about that. I'm joined by Ruben. You can come over here, show your face. Ruben also complains. We need to start a petition. If you want him to stop, just comment. Stop the laziness. And that might get him to stop. I told you, I mean, late earlier in this video that we went and made feed, which we did. Some of our stuff that leftover supplies for making feed were left in the truck last night in the heavy dew. I don't think it rained, but heavy dew ruined. Okay, it rained last night, Carl says. I guess I was sleeping. It got our paper bags wet. I don't think it ruined the minerals or the diatomaceous earth, but uh, we have to now get them in other bags. One of them, the reasons we're switching all this around is so it, when it does rain, the one shed we moved all the feed into is much drier, uh, doesn't get wet in there. So that's one of the reasons we are doing this project of moving stuff around. So we're gonna end it right there. So I guess maybe the point of this is keep your dry, feed dry and stuff, but I don't really feel like giving you all the information, so. Uh... So yeah, we just finished up that project, moving stuff around in our sheds. We've been wanting to do it for a while, but we finally got it done. If you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe and like. We always appreciate all of the support. Comment below. So comment below. What should we comment below, guys? Comment below. Who worked the hardest? You can tell it was me because I'm dirtiest. Oh.